In this video, I just want to talk about the syllabus, kind of like what we would do if it was the first day of class. Um, you know, obviously, I'm assuming you can all read. You don't need me to read to you. On the other hand, it's oftentimes helpful to have someone, um, you know, kind of walking you through things. So with that said, um, the syllabus just starts out with, how do you contact me? Uh, that is my official office. Actually, I'm not even in 124 right now. It's, it's actually, it moved me. They, they put the, uh, the, the West Oahu campus, we have a rock collection. And I guess I rank lower than rocks because the rock collection got my office. So if you go to E124, sorry, this is actually dated. I'm not going to correct it at this point. You go to E124, you can see the rock collection. I am on the second floor. Um, but I'm actually not even on campus that often. Um, I'm primarily at the uh, Manoa campus. Um, so I'd say come visit me. Um, and if you want to, I'm in Saunders Hall 522. Um, and, it, and I really am available to you if you want to see me in person. Um, send me an email. I can give you the exact instructions of where I'm at. Um, you can call this phone number. Uh, that is my phone number. Um, you're gonna, it's gonna go to voicemail, um, and just leave a voicemail. Uh, that's my office number. Leave a voicemail, and then I'll get an email notification that you called, um, and I'll call you back. But really, the easiest way is just to email me, and that's why I kind of say here. I, I am not known for being a person that does not reply um, on time. Uh, I reply pretty. Promptly. And given just the, the fewer number of students I have in the summer, um, I'm just I'm not known for not replying. If you don't get a reply from me, that would mean you should email me again. Um, and that really is the easiest way to, to manage that. OK, um, here is our description of the class. I did not write this description. In my opinion, it's not a rather well-written description. Um, so instead, I wrote something of my own, which is right here. So this is as a um, as a introductory to macroeconomic thought class. We basically do three things. The first thing we do is we just talk about economics in general. Then, second we look at the three things that macroeconomists care about the most. Um, that would be the measurement of GDP output, uh, the measurement of employment, or we usually look at the unemployment rate, and then the measurement of price levels, which we typically talk about as inflation. <coughs> and then this course concludes with talking about how two entities in society the government and the central bank try to manage economic conditions to try to manage the GDP, the inflation, and the unemployment rate. And that's really all we, we are doing in this course and we'll do over the next six weeks. So here's our learning outcomes. These are important. I know some people like, you know, map these out into, you know, different things. Yeah, it's important, but really for me, it's at the end of this class, what do I want you to be able to do? And that I hope that you'll be able to do these three things. Then we have our, um, how am I gonna assess you? We'll basically have assignments. There'll be an assignment for most chapters. I think almost all the chapters. We have a news article analysis paper um, for many of the chapters. And I'll make a separate video that talks about how to do those. We have our quizzes. These will also um, um, be for many, um, not all, but many uh, of them, of the chapters are kind of like mini tests. And then we have our exams. And again, I'll talk about each of these um, in separate videos. Then we have our, um, you know, how, how are you going to get the, um, the textbook? Well, in our case, um, it's pretty simple. Um, you're being billed for it. Um, it actually turns out to be the cheapest. As much as I personally think it's a 
bad way just to sign people up for something and make them buy it. It actually turns out to be the cheapest. You have the right and you have the ability to decline that charge, but it actually ends up being the cheapest way to get the access to what you need for this class. I'm very um, conscious of and um, respectful of how much the textbook costs. We will be using it extensively. Um, there's really no other way around it. Um, yeah, there are free books out there, and I, you know I work pretty strongly in that effort. Um, unfortunately, the both the homework systems and the exam systems, um, it would require us to use La Lima, and La Lima is not a really great site to do all that work in, and so for everyone's benefit. Um, buying the textbook and what comes with it, McGraw-Hill Connect, which you probably use for some of your other courses, especially if you're in business, um, it makes everything a little bit more straightforward. Here are the dates to keep in mind. You can drop this class out through tomorrow, July 5th. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Um, you can get all your money back. By the 10th, you can get half your money back, and the 27th, you can still just get a W in this class. In terms of our um, classroom policies, um, here's the official, the official lines are, I won't take anything that's late. Unofficially, what I will tell you is email me. If, you're, if you know you're going to be late with something, talk to me about it. Help me understand what's going on and why you'd like some more time. Generally, my criteria about whether I will accept something late comes down to um, I try to be fair to everyone in this class. And if I feel that what you're doing wouldn't be fair to others if they were in that same situation, um, I don't grant it. <clears throat> All right, you know, in that case, if, if it is fair, though, and I think others would respond the same way, I try to be um, to give that exception based on the fact that others in the same class would want that um, accommodation as well. Academic integrity, what you submit must be your own, um, especially for the news article analyses, where I know that now AI is becoming more and more important. Don't let AI write your papers. I will likely know that AI wrote your paper. Can't guarantee it, but I likely will know. Why take that risk? Why make it so that I have to write an uncomfortable email to you asking, did you write this or not? And having to investigate it. Just write it yourself. If you need accommodation, um, send an email and then they reach out to me. Here's our grading scale for this class. I will be grading things quite promptly, so um, you should pretty well know how you're doing in this course. And then we have our schedule for this class. You know, some people really like it, some people really dislike it. You know, you can tell me at the end of this course which camp you're in, but um, it, it's just, I don't know, I've been doing this now for, been doing this method now for some 10 years. I'm not saying I'm unlikely to change, but my general structure here is when teaching online is that you have some freedom to, as I say here, pace yourself or decide how you, you know, want to learn. And that many of us, you know, there are a few of us who diligently say, I'm going to spend 30 minutes a day on this class. And that's great for you that you do that this way. And this method that I propose here will still work for you. But on the other hand, many of us who are juggling multiple responsibilities find ourselves with multiple days not getting to, you know, focus on this class at all. And then you get like two or three days where you can do a lot for this class. So I try to structure it with kind of a lumped deadline. We have three lumped deadlines. If as, as a six week class, I basically create a deadline every two weeks. And that every two weeks, all of the materials for part one will be due. And for part two on July 30th, part three on August 11th. 
I highlighted here even in yellow. Basically, you are being told already what the deadlines are. You just need to now pace yourself to get these things done on time. So what is part one? Part one consists of four chapters. So basically two chapters a week, right? As an accelerated class, you know, um, we're not a 15 week class or a six week summer class. We're doing a little bit more, but you know, you already knew that. Uh, this is totally doable, um, right? And then in part two, keep to the same structure here. We've got four, um, four things. I don't put a fourth chapter in here. I just keep it kind of an applied topic of minimum wage. And then in part three, we have just a little bit more here. We have five, uh, only because all five are important here. Um, I didn't want to cut it down to four just to keep it consistent and have you not learned something that you need to learn. Okay. Um, that's our syllabus. Um, I'll be making some now standalone videos that will talk about other aspects of this class.